Hey everybody, this is Avalon from Crafts Direct, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can make this rainbow oil diffuser. So right here, the main part of our diffuser is going to be some air dry clay. This is going to be the terracotta clay. And once you're done, you are going to just put a couple drops of oil onto the clay, and then you are able to diffuse your oils and hang this up wherever you may want. Follow along and I will show you how you can make this project. You will first start by preparing your workspace and laying down parchment paper. Grab your air dry clay and you will break off a large piece of clay. I like to start by first rolling the clay into a ball. I like to make sure that the whole outside is pretty smooth. And then from there, I take my rolling pin and I roll out my clay so that it is flat. You just want your clay to be bigger than a fourth of an inch thick. That way it is not easily breakable and it should be pretty sturdy. If you don't have a rolling pin, you can use a pop can as a substitute. Next, you will grab a pizza cutter and cut a straight line across the clay. You just want to make sure you have about four inches of clay left at the top of the line. Grab a tape measure or ruler and you will measure out three inches. You'll want to put two marks in your clay, one at the three inch mark and one at the top of the ruler. Use either an X-Acto knife or a tool from a clay tool set and you will create your rainbow shape. You will just create a large arc starting at one of the marks you made and ending at the other one. Remove the extra clay from the top of the shape that you just cut out. You will then take a small paintbrush and we are going to use the end of the paintbrush that's rounded and we are going to create some more arcs in our rainbow. We're going to create three arcs. You're going to start with the outermost one, move to a second one that's a little bit smaller, and then the smallest one inside of that. Use water to smooth out the edges, especially on the outside edge and where we just made those arcs in the clay. You then can go back with your paintbrush to finish out those lines and help smooth out anything else. Next, you will grab an X-Acto knife or tool from the clay tool set and you will start by creating a hole at the top of the rainbow. You're going to want this to be fairly big since we are going to be stringing jute through the top and then you are going to create holes at the bottom of each arc on both ends. So you should have six holes at the bottom. Make sure the holes pierce through the other side of the clay so that we can string everything that we need to go through those holes. You will then let your clay air dry. It will probably take about 24 hours to completely dry. Next, you are going to take a few strands of raffia, fold them in half to create a loop, and then feed that loop through the back holes of the bottom of the rainbow. Then once you've done that, you will take the ends of the raffia and pull it through the loops and pull tight. You will then trim any excess raffia. You want the raffia ends to all be about the same length. And then you're going to repeat these steps until all six holes at the bottom of the rainbow have raffia tied onto them.
Next, you will grab your wooden beads. You can leave them natural, or you can do what I did and paint them with this sort of taupe color. Cut a long piece of jute, and then take one of the ends and put it through the hole at the top of the rainbow. Create a loop with the jute that you have, and then take your wooden beads and string them onto the loop. Create a knot at the top of the wood beads. You will wrap the loop around your fingers and then pull it through that loop to create your knot. Take the end of the jute that did not go through the hole on the top of the rainbow, bring it to the back, and tie a knot securing the two strings to the back of the rainbow. Now you can add a few drops of some oils and now your diffuser is ready to be hung up and enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching this video. You can shop all the products needed to make this project at craftsdirect.com projects.